Let's compare him to Vitaly Roussel, an unbeaten fighter yep. from Ukraine. We're talking about good quality fighter f from Russia, the, or from Ukraine. Well, well, say, scored, you... well scored amateur, yeah. So good, good quality in that sense, Andy, yeah. Now, it, it's a little bit of an unknown in a sense, and this is the big thing. Hasn't fought outside of Ukraine. They're not dissimilar either, looking at the stats. No, the, the, the stats, you know, so you can ma manipulate stats how you like. They're not dissimilar, but remember, Hook has probably the most impressive thing on Hook's record, and... I often say this about guys that have been carefully and tenderly matched. One of perhaps the most impressive thing on Hook's record is that defeat in the 12th round against Steve Cunningham when he was only 22 and he'd been boxing a couple of years. He quit kickboxing, I think, at 18 or 19, turned at about 15 or 16 amateur bouts, and, or under 20 at least. Uh, make it sound like a statistician, you know, under 20 amateur bouts, then turned pro and fought, and, and fought Cunningham. They thought it was the right time. It wasn't the right time. Cunningham knew too much, stopped him in the 12th round. Now, in many ways, that showed plenty of, plenty of heart, plenty of desire, and plenty, and plenty of gut. Since then, he's worked his way through several other people. This is the say, his third defence tonight, Andy? Indeed, third defence. Third defence. And, and Roussel hasn't mixed in the same company, hasn't been against the wall. But here's the thing, it's that magic thing he brings to the ring, that magic O. Oh, he's not been beaten. So you don't know how desperate he'll be if he's put under pressure. You don't know how he'll respond. But you know what? Hook will, make, Hook will lead us down the path tonight. We will find out. There's no two ways about it. Interesting that you picked up on the fact that he was a kickboxer, world champion kickboxer there. You can't compare the two sports. They're not the same. But once you've got the taste for being a world champion in one sport... Will that give him what he needs to drive him towards uh, the next level in this sport? Absolutely. You know, he's, he's probably, I'm not sure when he started kickboxing, I would imagine to get to that level, he probably started, like most amateur boxers, about 11 or 12 years of age. Mm. So he's had six or seven years of decent competition. And even though, of course, you don't kick in boxing, mm. unless you're, who's that nutcase that fought um, Elijah Tillery, who fought Riddick Bow? Kick Riddick Bow. Kick with it, bow in a fight. I'm coming up with my own nutcase fights here. You're meant to be helping me out. Not you, people at home. I think it was Tillery. If it wasn't Tillery, let me know. Uh, Bo had a, had a kicking match. Then Bo, of course, had the fan man. Bo was in some nutty fights. Anyway, um, he would have had a, great, you know, a good engine from all those years of kickbox training. Plus, and of course, you can't kick in boxing. Uh, but you, your balance is there. You're still on your feet. You're still moving. Your hands are here. So he, 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 would have, he could have taken some skills. It's not like he came from rowing, where you're bringing no skills. At least you're bringing some skills. You, you see my point? You're bringing some things across. Mm. A bit like going from maybe rowing to kayak racing. You know, you're both the same sort of thing. You're balanced in a canoe, you're balanced in a boat, this much separating you from the water. You're using your arms, you're reading the currents, you're rowing like nut, like, like crazy till you get to the finish line. Totally different sports, but slightly connected. You understand me? So we're talking about high-caliber athletes. Yeah. I wonder, Steve, when you went for your walkabout, by the way, you didn't see a connection li linking us to Germany because not only have we lost the commentary team now, we've lost the pictures to Germany. So uh, no, if anyone's wondering why we're not I, crossing I didn't back see to the, Germany. I, I didn't see the pizza that I've been out. And by the way, could I just thank everybody who've been very kind to send in Cole Miser and Gold from Rotherham. Thanks very much for sending in. Bunsy, look, the picture of health. Have you lost weight, they want to know. And I haven't lost weight, but believe it or not, and this is true, when I had four or five days in Las Vegas, Andy, and I told you this, and you thought I was joking, but Mick Costello from Five Live told you the truth. When I have five or six days in Las Vegas, I actually live and eat healthily. I drink loads of water. Because, in Las Vegas? Oh, yeah, because if you drink and eat to excess in Las Vegas, with all the air conditioning and with all the flights, you get absolutely knackered. This is our fight. We okay? Where are you keep talking to anyway, so you get so you've got to, when you go when I go to Vegas I, I try and sleep early and rest simply because if you stay up all night in nutcase bars or nutcase late restaurants you come back you get on a plane you feel bloated you feel do, terrible do you know why they, they say that to you because they know if they send you a nice email you'll give them a little name check on air well they get name checks on air don't they? everyone gets name checks on air Right, let's get across to Germany. The pictures are back. Captain Hook is ready to make his way ringside. Let's join our commentary team once again. Richie Woodall, but first, John Rawling. Thanks, Andy. Here he comes. Big Captain Hook. 24 years old, the European cruiserweight champion. Vitaly Roussal has already made his way into the ring. He looks a little bit keyed up, a little bit tense as well, he might. And he's a real crowd pleaser, this fella. And they've turned out in force in Bamberg. 
been a pro since 2004 and just that one defeat which you were hearing about on his record when he went for the world title against Steve Cunningham at that stage it was a move too far but who knows what the future might bring for this fella he's been an unlikely sort of figure to be a world champion but he's got a big heart so that's one thing you can really say about Marco Hook yeah, he's learned his trade, John, hasn't he, at the end of the day? Just that one defeat against Cunningham. Third defence of this title. And, uh, yeah, he can punch a little bit. 19 uh, knockouts in the 25 contests. He's pretty exciting. And now we'll get all the official introductions for tonight's main event, the European Cruiserweight title. Zuerst die Hymne des Gastes aus der Ukraine. The Ukrainian Born national anthem for Vitaly Russov. Sauerland Event präsentiert Ihnen den Hauptkampf des heutigen Abends. Zwölf Runden, Profiboxen um die Europameisterschaft im Cruisergewicht. Supervisor des Kampfes, FVA-Präsident Willibald Palatin aus Österreich und Enza Jacoponi aus Italien. Geht der Fight über die 